Risking. I'm a player and I know that uh, it could possibly hurt his career but uh, he was very insistent and I, I uh, salute him for that. Labang pa rin ang alaska ng isa. 42 seconds remaining. Chris King to Marlo Aquino against Kevin Holland. Dilabas na naman kay Chris King. Three point shot by Chris King! It's good! Ayan ang sinasabi Chris King is hobbled. Ayan! He will not go right! Ngunit hindi dapat napahala ang mga boards dahil pipilitin daw lumaro ni King upang bigyan ng commanding 3-0 lead ang kanyang kupunan. I think the pressure right now is on Alaska. They're, they're the ones who have to come out you know, and, and try to get two games from us. But you know, we hope that we can just you know, go ahead and end this thing so it will be over with. Nasa bingit ang kamatayan ng Alaska at ngayon masusubukan ang laki ng puso ng mga defending champions. Alam nilang may iniinda ang nagkaharing import ng Gordons. Ito kaya ang iniintay na pagkakataon ni na Johnny Avorientos upang makabalik sa serye? Ito ang Game 3 ng 1997 Commissioner's Cup. Nang Alaska ng maaga, si Johnny Avorientos ang uh, nagpasimula ng uh, laro ng mahusay ng Alaska. Ngunit biglang pumutok. Ang Gordo sa pamamagitan ni Chris King at Marlo Aquino. At pagkatapos nila, Marlo Aquino at Chris King na mayani naman at sumunod na umatake si Pino Jarenzo. Pumutok si Jojo Lastimosa pagdating ng uh, third quarter. Ngunit hindi ito naging sapat para sa kanyang kumunan na naidikit niya ngunit hindi sila nakalamang. Nakatamo ng injury si Chris King. Ngunit sa isang malamilag kong tira, bumalik si Chris King sa uling 37 segundo ng laban upang kumana ng isang three-pointer na nagbigay ng panalo sa kumunan ng uh, Gordos Jin para sa maaga. Umaagaw ng bola. Gagawa pa ng assist yan. Ngunit sa third quarter, maalala nyo, sinubukan niyang magdak ng maganda na hatak ang kanyang hamstring muscle sa bandang uh, kaliwang paa. At yan ang naging problema. Ngunit bumalik nga siya sa dulo ng laro at kung kailan pinaka-importante at kinanaan niya ang pinaka-importante yung three-point shot na ang unang dalawang laro para sa kumunan ng Gordos. Dr. J, kanina nakita natin si Chris King. Ito muna ang kanyang mga numero. 81, uh, 61% three-point shooting. Kakaiba ito, Dr. J. Yes, and not, you know, the things that Chris King gives are the 8 assists, the 11 rebounds, tsaka magaling dumipensa at tumulong sa depensa si Chris King. That's why kung naglalaro siya, malaking bagay para sa kanyang mga kumpunan niyan. He's a big play, player that helps Marlo Aquino in defense downstairs. Injured si Chris King. Kanina nakita natin si Chris King early in this ball game. Mapapapansin nyo, Iingang-ingang ng konti ang import na ito. Obviously, there is a problem. Meron siyang iniindang sakit sa kanyang uh, kaliwang uh, hita at yan. Sinubukan lagyan ng uh, pampalunas ng sakit. Strap ito upang hindi ma-aggravate ang uh, kanyang injury. Ngayon, ang questions dito. Sabi ng hapon at may counting break sa ensayo ng Gordon's Gin Bors. Sila ay naghahanda para sa Game 3 ng Finals ng 1997 PBA Commissioner's Cup. At mababatid natin na wala si Chris King sa sahig sa kasalukuyan. Si Chris King ay tiling ng doktor kaninang umaga upang suriin ang kanyang uh, kalagayan sa kanyang kaliwang hita at napag-alaman na may, meron siya ditong strained ligament at partial tear sa kanyang hamstring. That means less than 100% si Chris King pero inaasahang maglalaro pa rin siya sa game number 3 para sa Gene Bors. Si Coach Sunny Jaworski ay uh, bibigyan siya ng pagkakataong tapusin ang kanyang inibisahan at uh, just in case hindi niya matapos itong serye dahil nga uh, sa kanyang kondisyon ay meron silang backup na nandito na itong si Brunel Perry who had been here for about 2 months now pero uh, siya ay dapat na import nila para sa Governor's Cup I hope that his injury isn't serious but in the event that he cannot play I'm ready, I'm ready to step up and try to fill his shoes I don't know if I can fulfill it just as good as he did but I'll give my best effort Inaasahan din ng uh, Gene Bors na marami silang kailangan gawin adjustments dahil itong si Chris King ay uh, uh, hindi naman lang pwedeng hatawin maigi dahil sa kanyang kondisyon pero nevertheless very confident pa rin ng Gordon's Gene na kaya nilang uh, magwangi kahit itong si Chris King ay medyo pipilay-pilay The only thing that kept uh, Chris King out there and on the court is his heart and uh, I wish all the players were like Chris King Just shows you what kind of competitor he is he's uh, not the type of person who wants to back down he really wants to win and uh, he's giving his all not just for us for the team but for himself and that proves he's a real winner Why is vintage sports that you love it's because of the Two things, Dr. J. Isa, hindi maglalaro yung kanila pang import sa third conference dahil naka-uniforme si Chris King. Nasabi yung puso, yung klase ng competitor si Chris King. Kahit hindi 100%, lethal weapon pa rin ba ito si Chris King? Yes, I think so because... Pinakilala uh, po ang uh, starting lineup para sa kukuna ng Gordon. Sila po ay nakasot ng dilaw at ang bandirita sa dilaw na nakakalat dito, Dr. J. Eh, 
Akala mo yung panahon ng 1986 no Edsa Revolution? <laughs> well, siyempre alam mo nakakalamang ang Gordons kanilang fans are trying to cramp in every inch and space of this Coliseum hoping to be able to cheer their team on. Obviously, they're not starting with their import and alam rin yata ni Coach Tim Konya kaya pinalik na naman niya si Dwight Lago sa kanyang starting five lineup instead of Poch Winyo which he used the other day. Okay, Butch, wala si Chris King sa lineup. Maglalaro ba si Chris King? Butch Maniego, where are you? Ay, nandito ako, Chino, sa tabi ng Gordon Seal. At kanina sa dugout, nag-decide si, si Coach Sonny Jaworski na hindi lang, na hindi lang gagamitin si Chris King unless absolutely necessary. Kung medyo dikit sa dulo ng laro, baka Chris King will see some action. But if they can avoid using him in this game, they will magpapahingay nila para sa game number four. At least malinaw ngayon, Dr. J, na hindi natin makikita. Nasa katawan at puso, isip ng mga players ng Gordon sa mga local players na dali ng team na ito kung matatapos ang game 3 na sila ang nakaangat pasa sa ilalim so far meron dalawang puntos na naikakana ito ko na ng Alaska last Lastimosa bailout shot wala and Aquino ito parang import din ang nilalaro nito Dr. J yeah definitely he's a big player and uh, he has a lot of confidence so medyo umakit ang laro pero importante dyan yung depensa ng Gordon so as you see in that uh, play again maganda ang kanilang dinipensa Nagkahanap si Dudu na magpapasahan. Padaling hanapin si Marlo Aquino. Nakadikit agad si Holland sa kanya. Four seconds to shoot. Valdemid, nadampot ang bola. Ngunit hindi, may papasok ang kanyang tira. Still a 2 to nothing lead in favor of Alaska. That's the way it's been in the series. In the first quarter, Alaska has always had the lead here. Pero humahapo lang Gordon's pagdating ng second and third quarters. No? Ito ang depensa kay Johnny Aparientos. We will have a Johnny Aparientos. What? Johnny Aparientos. Dr. J, something na talaga nakikita natin ginagawa ni Johnny Abarientos. I guess Valdebid, mukhang meron siya konting lamang. At saka kaya niya. In other words, siya wala siyang takot kay Valdebid. He knows his movements can get him around uh, Valdebid. Valdebid has got to do something on offense to make Johnny work a little bit harder. Lolly Loxin against Bo Hawkins. Wala pang makuha mga puntos. Ang kutunan ng Gordon's kontra sa Alaska. And we have Anthony Suntayo on the late, latest report sa panig ng Alaska. Anthony? Well, Coach Tim Cohn reminded his players, I'm very proud of what we've done in this conference. Just keep it up. Whether we win or we lose in this conference, I'm proud of what we've been able to do. We've been able to rebound. Sabi niya, tonight, stay positive. We can win this game. We'll see what Chris King can do. But dito nakikita natin, hindi naman nag-aro si Chris King. We'll find out what Chris King can do and come out even stronger dito sa laro nito. Let's go back to you. A steal by Johnny Abarientos and a play consulated by the dreaded Alaska Triangle. Hawkins, Abarientos, and Lastimosa, Dr. Jay. All of a sudden, it's just a 6 to nothing lead. Alam mo, ibang-iba ang kilos mo pag alam mo yung one of your best players is not playing with you. Medyo, you don't feel comfortable eh. Parang wala yung kompihansa nila doon. And they're really very, ang depensa ng Alaska is really cramping them down. Wala pa rin na i-score ang kupunan ng Gordons playing with much handicap sa laban na ito. They're without an import. Chris King is injured. At uh, chances are, we won't see him in action tonight unless, of course, necessary as reported by Butch Maniego. Johnny Abarientos out to Lastimosa. Yes. Lastimosa connects. And it's an 8-0 score para sa panig ng Alaska. Kailangan gumising ng Gordon. Tignan natin kung ano gagawin nila. Appreciate quality. Outlast Battery. Winner of International Awards for Quality. Okay, tuloy ang action. Ang Gordon still looking for their first two points. Hindi pa rin nila makukuha. At ang depend sa Dr. J ng Alaska, talagang hindi malusutan ng Gordon's Jean. They're sorely missing the presence of Chris King. Yeah, they're missing that uh, presence from the outside. At the same time, medyo may kompihansa naman yung uh, kalaban. Let's see if they can get something off the break here. Kailan may icebreaker ka dito eh. Baltabid, binigay kay Noli Luxin, but Noli Luxin losing his footing. At tatawagin sa ng offensive foul against Jojo Lastimosa. Well, the referees of this ball game are referees De Leon, Chua, and Tangonan. 8.26 sa first quarter. Hindi pa nakakakuha ng mga puntos o ng punto man lang ang kupunan ng Gordons. They're groping for form, looking for Chris King. Pero as, mas maaga siguro Dr. J na malaman nilang wala silang Chris King, the better for this team. Yung nga masama sa kanila, eh. they, I think they played around with whether to let him play or not for so long a time. Hanggang ngayong umaga, sa, sinasabi maglalaro, hindi maglalaro, maglalaro, hindi maglalaro. Pati yung mga players siguro, you know, we have to know, maglalaro ka ba o hindi ka maglalaro para alam namin ang gagawin namin. Importante ang uh, mental setup ng kupunan. As we see Chris King, naka-uniforme yan pero kanina nakita natin sa ating pregame. 
malaki yung iiga-iga na naglalakad. Yeah, he, he cannot run, but he can shoot. See, nakikita natin sa practice yan, nakaka-pira siya, eh, no? Paul Hawkins, nakita natin kanina sa leading uh, newspaper na isa sa mga who's hot and who's not. Si Paul Hawkins, nakita natin doon sa who's not. His numbers are down dito sa first two games of the Commissioner's Cup Finals. Well, it can certainly go up. You know, this is a great opportunity for him because he, I think he will have a better of a matchup dahil kulang na isang malaking player ang Gordon's outside shot here. Still nothing for Holland on the other side also. Shooting 35.5% from the field the so first two games. Kevin Holland missing another shot. They go to Marlu. Bread and butter play yan. He's on. Thinking three. Still cannot find the range. But he's on recovers. Sa gilid bukas si Bal David. He will take his own jumper. Ang layo. Oh, still sobra. At rebound makukuha ng Alaska. They're off and running. Pasaki Hawkins. Hawkins yes. will finish the break, Dr. J. 10-0 commanding lead. Palatok po na ng uh, Alaska. You know, David has really given them hardly anything on offense. No, He had that best game in that playoffs. But from then, it's been all downhill. Mga libreng tira. Hindi niya ma-shoot. Siniset up na nga siya ng mga kanyang mga kakampi. No? And it's a 10 to nothing lead as Alaska tries to break the game wide open here in the first quarter. Ito po ang game number 3. Tandaan po ninyo. Ang koponan ng Alaska ay hindi pa nananalo ay Marlo Aquino just gave Gordon's the first two points of the ball game. Well, Marlo, I think, has been the steadiest local player, no? Uh, after their import, siya ang medyo kumakamada para sa kanilang uh, kuponan. Marlo Aquino averaging 19.5 points per ball game. Si Lago hindi makatatanganan ng pasa. They have four seconds to shoot. Bukas si Holland. Holland bothered ng presence ni Marlo Aquino. Yun naman ang masasayin mo kay Marlo Aquino. The mere presence of Marlo Aquino can change shots, Dr. J. Tsaka ang gusto mo kay Marlo Aquino, he really knows how to play the center slot very well. Which means what? Rebounding well defensively and helping out defensively. Pag nalusutan yung kakampi mo, habol ulit, tulong ulit. Dr. J, dito sa ilalim ng uh, goal ng uh, Alaska, sinusutan. Merong mga fans na Gordons na merong uh, daladalang banderitas na pula. At saka dilaw At katarik si free throw Ito katulad dito Si Kevin Holland Just connected on his first free throw Pag uh, magsi free throw yan Nilalansin ng mga fans sa ilalim Si Kevin Holland Kaya ano, nakikita nyo Ayun na nakikita natin sa NBA Pero mga yeah. lobo ginagamit eh no And they use a lot of things in the NBA Tsaka grabe yun Mahahaba pa nga yung sticks na mga ginagamit nila Na talagang may ilang ka talaga doon sa mga kilos na mga tao doon no? Naalala ko, pinakamalalang nakita ko pambiso nila Nung dumidira si Larry Bird Nung minsan sa venue na hindi ko matandaan Mga picture ng mga nakabikini yeah. Ito, hindi pa nakakascore Tsaka ang sama ng tira ni Val David yun. Bukas si Lastimosa sa corner, wala. Rebound kinuha ni Dudut Jaworski. Ito naman ang mas masasay mo rito sa anak ni Godson ni Jaworski na to. Fighter ito. Ito, doon drive. Kapos. Ando si Vince Season. Vince Season. Two fakes, three fakes. Hindi makakuha. But he gets his own put back. Well, yan ang puso na lang talaga yung linalaban mo doon. Dahil ang lalaki nung nasa ilalim that includes import Kevin Holland. Pero hindi umaayaw si Vince Season sa kanyang follow-up shot. No? Pero believe ka pa rin Dr. J sa depensa ng uh, Gordos. Aatake na sana si Johnny but quickly nando si Marlo Aquino upang tulungan yung kanyang partner sa ilalim. Hawkins pumato. Ang tira. Walang pag-asang pumasok. Pilipit ang paa. Baldabid has to score. Has yet to score this ball game. Vin Season has two points on the putback. Vin Season driving in. Ang pasa niya. Nakuha ni Holland at matatapik but he ran out of space sa ilalim Dr. J. An eight point lead. Para sa Alaska, early goings of game number 3. May timeout na. Bakit hindi pa nagkakata? Nag-timeout na. Nag-timeout na. Nag-timeout na. Nag-timeout na. Nag-timeout na. So they'll have it at the 3 minute break. 5 minutes, 13 seconds. 10 seconds on the shot clock para sa Gordons. At ito kita tatalunin Dr. J. Ang Gordons shooting 20%. Ang daling kukentahin no? 2 out of 10. Hindi na naman nakakuha ng mga puntos ang Gordon sa kanilang huling atake. Bong Hawkins susubukang atakein si Dudut Jaworski. Wala ang kanyang tira. Shooting horrendous in this uh, series. And he's first to score on two tries. Umatake si Jojo Lastimosa. And he's trying to attack the defense. Put on him itong uh, Gordon. That's going to be a foul on Jaworski. And Jojo Lastimosa who has four points in the ball game will now go to the free throw line. Ito po sa huling explosion ng uh, kupunan ng Gordon. Anthony! Okay, maraming salamat, Chino. Ang pinag-usapan lang sa locker room, 56-37 ang na-outscore 
ang Alaska sa Gorgeous Gym. And in fact, in the six-game winning streak ng Gorgeous Gym, tinignan ni Tim Cohn, sabi niya, an average of 11.8 points, they outscored their opponents. Kaya sabi ni Tim Cohn, we have to be very sharp, especially in the second quarter. Balik tayo sa'yo. Pinag-iingatan Dr. J, gaya na sinabi ko, yung uh, iniingatan ng uh, kukunan ng... Uh, Alaska. Alaska, yung explosion ng uh, Gordons na yan. Yeah, but of course, that's uh, anchored on a different situation. Uh, usually, King takes over in the uh, first quarter, and then he paces himself and allows the local players to come in and help him out. Or, he also continues to play hard. So, ganun yun eh. eh importante. Talagang, alam mo, even Cohen has said this, I read it in the papers, ayaw niyang labanan itong Gordons na wala si King. Because he feels it's a nice challenge to try to beat Gordons when they are complete. I mean, you know, when if King or Aquino is hurt, ang laki ng diferensya ng team para sa Gordons. Anybody else hurt ng that team, kaya nila maglaro eh. You know, but those two guys are, I think, the key players on their team right now. Hinahanap nila yung kompleto para mas masarap ang uh, pagkakapalalo Chris King as yet to see action As uh, reported earlier, the Butch Maniego, kahapon pa kami nagpapantay kay Chris King sa kanyang katayuan. Well, they decided to uh, let him rest dito sa ball game ito. At least up to this point, this is the second quarter. Ito po ang game number three, ang uh, Gordons. Mas sabi natin, Dr. J, it's a commanding 2-0 lead, ano? Yeah, it is a lead right now, but uh, you're already playing the third game. So if you lose, all of a sudden, it's too wide. Baba. Nawala na. No? Winyo, hindi may safe off si... Uh, second violation. Ito si Hawkins, babato na naman. And his uh, problems continue, Dr. J. Shooting two out of nine from the field in this ball game, si Bong Hawkins. Yeah, the teams are shooting poorly. Three-point shot by Hison. Wala. And uh, good boxing out tactics against Wilmer Ong there. But somebody's hurt, and that happens to be Portuino. Picks himself up, however. Tatawagan ng handshake si uh, Benny Cheng against Bong Hawkins. Ang dalawang produkto ng NCA, of course, one coming from uh, Papua, si Benny Cheng, the other coming from Perpetual Health. Yeah. Two team fouls now contra sa Gordons, they're down by eight. We are in the second quarter, it will uh, surprise with the score. Medyo talagang mababa dito, dalang percentages for both teams were below 30% dyan sa first quarter. Si Pido Harenzo, who had an explosion doon sa ating uh, second uh, game, sa game two, sa, third, sa second and third quarter. Ipinasok sa ball game para kay Baldavid and two quick fouls on Benny Cheng. So, delikado si Dr. J, yung uh, Dr. J ang uh, tayo ni Sunny Jaworski. He has to pull out yung uh, kanyang uh, relief, uh, yung relief uh, guard niya, oh, forward rather. Pero foul din ang uh, natamo ni Benny Cheng, dalawa na rin yan. Correct. White Lago shaking off uh, nice shot. Vin Cesar. And he has the height advantage over Vin Cesar, so he can shoot over his head. Biggest lead of the ball game again for uh, Alaska. 10 points right now. They go to Marlu. Marlu. Hindi niya makukuha. But Wilmer Ong is there at Paul ang itatawag. Number 18, and this will be on Wilmer Ong. Wala na rin ako ang tawag ang Gordons dito at this stage of the ball game. Nagrabyado na sila and they have four quick fouls, four team fouls with only two and a half minutes gone by. Magpartay ang hirap itong bubunuhin na ito. Napakadaming fouls na. Ang uh, nakikita sa panig ng uh, Gordons. And Sonny Jaworski got talking to the referees. They're playing again with much handicap. Wala ang kanilang import. Short ang tira pa sa kay Holland. Ang tira ni Holland. Namamalahib, namamalahibo sa kay Marlo Aquino. Yeah, he's been missing those kind of shots, you know, in the series. Layups na yan. Ang gandang pasa ni Hawkins. That should have been an assist. He should have dunked that thing. <laughs> Sama ng laro ni Kevin Holland, Dr. J. Pumawid yata sa isipan ng mga... Nagmamayari ng Alaska na itsugi na rin itong import na to, Pero hindi nila ginawa, alam nilang alanganin ng uh, kal kalagayan nila At this stage, medyo mahirap na yan, siguro Pero alam ko, may makukuha ka ng ex-NBA player na nasa kondisyon no? At the same time, mabang wala sa kondisyon, wala rin Wala rin So they're sticking it, up, or sticking it out with uh, Kevin Holland Bukas si Lago at one earlier yes. Four straight points para kay Dwight Lago And it's a 10-point lead, back to a 10-point lead Ang mali ni Hison doon, dumodobol team siya kay Holland naging sa Pino Aquino, Holland has not proven that you should double team him when he goes up against Marlo Aquino. You must guard those guys that can shoot from the outside, those medium-range jump shots. 
Tulad na nga ni Lago na merong uh, apat na straight na puntos. Marlo Aquino has 8 points in the ballgame. Tatawagan naman ang offensive foul against Kevin Holland. That's his second personal foul. Let's take a look at this play. Does he establish position? He's moving his feet. No, that's the problem. More or less, he has established. Pero ang problema niya, he was also trying to move his feet to get around where Marlo was moving to. So, hindi naman nakita niya yung paa na yun. No? Pero sa slow mo, nakikita natin. So, second personal foul on Marlo Aquino. Napaka-valuable ng asset ni uh, Coach Sonny Jaworski. Averaging close to 20 points per ball game. He has 8 in this ball game. But he has 2 fouls po si Marlo Aquino. They go to Holland. Holland having his own problems against Marlo Aquino. Titira! What a way ang kinitira! Why will you avoid training? He has not proven that he can take Marlo Aquino one-on-one. JV Gayoso into the ball game. Andon si Marlo, may double team. Pito Jarenzo. Will he explode? That's a two-point shot. He was stepping on the line, but uh, a nice come off the bench. You know, uh, magandang tira ni Pido Jarencio. They go to Hawkins. Ito, masama ang itinitira dito. A steal completed by Gordons. Itong uh, kupunan ng uh, Gordons playing without an import, pero nagpapakita ng puso. Jarencio will shoot, but he will miss. Walang foul na itinawa. Yeah, he was hit by uh, Fernandez in that play. Sinuyo ng kanyang uh, likod ni Fernandez but Fernandez got away with it. Ito Alaska working yung kanilang ikutan ng bola. Hawkins sinakyan na ni Jarencio but sa lakas ng katawan ni Hawkins yeah. ay pasok pa rin niya yung kanyang tira. That's a good assist pass there. And, uh, alam mo, nakikita nila yung uh, movement. This is a nice pass by Poch Winyo. Hawkins has a chance to complete the three-point play. Ginawa na lahat ni Pito Jarencio pagpigilin si Bong Hawkins but Hawkins just converted sa kanyang 3-point play opportunity. So far, si Hawkins, 6 na puntos sa labang ito. Shooting 46% dito sa Serie Dr. J. It will now be a penalty situation for Gordons. Uh, they have 5 team fouls already with 7 minutes to go. And wala pa rin team foul ang Alaska dahil hindi yata marunong fumaul ang Alaska. Nakikita mo, Dr. J, doon sa sigaw ng mga tao, may sinisigaw sila. Normally, naririnig natin yun. Oh. Kapag uh, yung mga liga na intercolor, oh. pag uh, ay ayaw nila sa tawag o naargabyado yung isang uh, panic, sinisigaw nila yung uh, luto-luto. Pero hindi po yan ang uh, kaso dito. Umigot, Sabi si Pito Jarencio at uh, Fernandez. And uh, Pito Jarencio, nag-iskisan doon at nagtakbuhan agad yung mga manlalaro ng Gordos at Alaska upang tulungan ng kanilang parehong nakadapang mga kasama. We expect these things to happen in the championship series, Dr. J. Ito, panawarin po natin. Well, dito, at umagsak si uh, Fernandez, pero tangay-tangay rin niya yung paa ni Pido Jarencio, so he also lost his balance. Pero at the same time, I think Jarencio held on to his head, and Fernandez did not like that also. No? So, yun ang nangyari para sa kanila. 11-point lead here for Alaska. That's the first team foul called against uh, Alaska in this quarter. Alam mo naman, parehong uh, para mga Texas kung magsigilos itong mga ito. Marlo Aquino, pinangga. He fails to convert but he will go to the free throw line for two shots. The cone is giving his import Holland a rest. Kaya nga pinasok niya si Kevin Rama sa laro. And quickly, that's two team fouls now called against uh, Alaska. No? Si Marlo Aquino ngayon ay uh, nasa free throw line. Uh, Tapang tinitignan natin si Kevin Holland na kanyang imposing figure. Not too imposing in this ball game. Si Marlo Aquino, kanyang uh, free throw shooting, 41% dito sa series ito. And he continues to struggle from the line, Dr. J. Alam mo, unang-una, he becomes uh, really tired as the ball game progresses. And this is where it takes effect on a player when you go to the free throw line, you know. Ang pulso mga tinatawag natin. Ken, oh, yun, medyo buenas lang siya. Sa dami na nagdadasal <laughs> para sa Gordons, natulungan yung free throw ni Marlo Aquino. Ang galing sa ibabaw. <laughs> Halos, uh, no, he did not reach the top because it would have been a violation. Pero, that was a lucky shot. Ten point Moses eight. back in the game. That's Win. offensive foul. Itang-kita yung sinalya, Dr. Jane, ni Poch uh, Winyo, si Noli Loxin. At Noli Loxin, hindi yan papayag na magpa-atras man lang kahit nakapirasong pwesto. 6 and 25, another guy who seated is Johnny Abariendos. Ibigyan ng tamang hinga ito. At kaya nandiyan si Boyd Fernandez sa loob. Sonny Jaworski digging deeper into his bench. Dispatching in Terry Saldana. 
isa sa pinaka kung si Jaworski ang veterano ito ang second in command sa patandaan dito sa liga well, well kung magpapahinga man si uh, naku what a pass ito si Lastimosa aatake kay Gayoso bagsak si Lastimosa o rather bagsak si Gayoso and Lastimosa Will he take two free throws? Bibigyan ba ito Dr. J ng dalawang free throws? Bibigyan sa pagkat nasa penalty na. Well, in the penalty, whether it's in material, whether it was in the act of shooting, Wilmer Ong gave up that foul. Ten-point lead dito para sa Alaska. Six minutes and ten seconds. Ito si Lastimos had 28 points in game number two. Maganda ang kanyang mga numero. Eight rebounds and almost six assists. I think six assists in that ball game. So he really played well. At I remember right, nung uh, third quarter, Dr. J, nung uh, game number two, yung explosion ni Lastin Mwasa, ang halos nagpabalik sa punan ng Alaska. But again, hindi nila nakayanan na ibalik na ng laban niya. Kaya they're down 0-2 dito sa serye nito. He's also been struggling with his free throws in the last few games. He missed two free throws in that ball game, including some technical free throw shots. Isolation play para kay Luxin. Luxin boosting, ginamit ang banda, and Dolly Luxin reminiscent of yung move na ginawa niya nung uh, game number two where he had 12 points in the second quarter. That was big for his team. Uh, they needed that uh, explosion from uh, Nolly Luxin. It's a 9 point lead for Alaska. I am down to 5 and 42. This is game number three, second quarter. Sinal niya ni Hawkins. Ang tira niya wala. Pagsak. At baka matotrown out itong si Wilmer Ong. Yes, he threw it out. He's thrown out of this ball game for elbowing Bo Hawkins right on the face. Nagahala nga si Chua eh. But then he eventually made the call because he saw the elbow thrown. And that's thrown out. Ito, panoorin nyo. He got the rebound here. He threw an elbow. At sa mukha tumama. Ang sabi, ito, he was boxing out. And Sonny Jaworski susugurin ngayon. Si Chua, nasa gitna na si Sonny Jaworski. Eh, at saka si Chua, tumakbo. Natakot si Tagona na nagigay na nga. Technical. Si Chua, iniwasan ang sigaw o ang galit ni Sonny Jaworski. Kaya si Sonny talaga medyo mainit ni Chua yan. You know, he's always so scared if Chua is refereeing a ball game of Gordon's. Si Benji Chua nakatayo sa gitna ng court, nag-iisa. At samantala, nagsisimula na pong umulan dito. Hindi humibuta sa bubong ng Gordon's, ngunit meron mga fans na nagbabato na kung ano-ano. At meron pang isang bubato ng uh, bote kay uh, wala na si Chua dito dapat hindi na dapat nandito yan I think he made almost like for me the right call pero alanganin siya when he made the call eh. nakita niya yung uh, siko na ibinagsak but again eto na po at umuulan na kung ano-anong uh, dumi sa loob ng uh, court natin and still Chua is uh, ay nasa gitna ng uh, court nag-iisa Magbe-break muna kami sandali sapagkat uh, umuulan ho ng konti dito. Club Roman Traditional Fit. Club Roman Jeans and Shirts. Club Roman. Okay, kanina po nakita natin ang pagkaka-thrown out kay uh, Will Will Ong. Ang reason po doon, eh, yung uh, pagkakasigo niya ay tumama sa muka ni Bong Hawkins. At ayon sa PBA rules, pagka ikaw ng elbow, kapag ka above the shoulders, ibig sabihin, pag pinamaan ng muka, kahit na una pa lang yan, eh, automatic na ejected ka. As we see a missed free throw ni Bong Hawkins. Dr. J, meron na... You can see here in this slow mo that ilang beses kasi tinamaan ni Bong Hawkins sa muka si Wilmer Ong. Yun, nila nakita. And I think he came back. And I really think he should have been thrown out because uh, he came back with that elbow and he was right in the face of Bong. Now, there are a couple of things here. The first of all, yung technical foul, then deliberate foul, two free throws, plus possessions to Alaska. So it was a big penalty that uh, Gordon took with... You know, Wilmer did not use his head, you know? I mean, he's a player that they need in this ball game. Malaki siya, makakatulong siya. Bakit siya magpapatapo ng ganun, you know, when they need him, no? Si Butch Maniego nasa tabi ng uh, bench ng uh, Gordon's Butch. What do you have for us? Well, Chino, kinausap ni Coach Sanjo Wesley, mga players niya. Sinabi niya, use your head. Kapag uh, kayo tinitira, kahit sinasaktan kayo, huwag kayong gaganti. Napakahalaga ang bawat isa sa inyo. You have to find a way to stay in the game. Don't get caught up sa paggantihan sa laban sa Alaska. Balik tayo sa inyo, Chino. Doon mo masusukat, Dr. J, ang... Uh tulad ng uh, kakayahan ng isang uh, manlalaro, isang veteranong tulad ni Sonny Jaworski. He's been through a lot. At alam niyo kung ano sasabihin niyo sa mga manlalaro, yung tulad lang hindi pagkagati. Alam mo, pagka natamahan ka talaga ng sigo, 
unang nasa isip mo kay malamig ang ulo mo babawi ka eh, you know that's the worst thing to do eh they always say yung mga talagang marurunan at saka na lang yun di ba <laughs> sisimple ka na lang alam mo meron akong isang kilala iya uh, PBA grade na nagsasabi pagka tin tinira ka hintayin mo makabalik o lumamig yung laro sa kakagumante eh madali yung sabihin yung pala palagay ko nanonood sa atin of course one of the uh, all time greats ng PBA Simon Fernandez yan ang mga nagsasabi sa akin sa tagal-tagal mo dito okay pakitang gaganti ka agad kasi mga haganti ka rin somewhere along pero wag yung garabal dahil sigura ka mahabang ka mahabang ka talaga nun eh so that's an 11 point lead now for Alaska 5 minutes and 20 talaga ito si Ramon ang dami talaga tinuturo <laughs> Samantala si Jamie Gayoso kumuna sa labas. Yung bad matchup natin, Dr. J, without an import, nakatoon tayo kay Marlo Aquino, Kevin Holland matchup. Ito ang magandang matchup dahil alam natin na namumuro itong si Holland kapag si Aquino yung kanyang kalaban o nang namalihibo siya. Bumalik siya sa ball game. Fernandez na taas sa gilid, hindi siya makahanap ng puwang. Bibigay nila kay Winyo, Winyo. Traveling. Losing footing at yun. Nakita ni referee Tangonan ang traveling ng 8-point lead para sa upunan ng Alaska. You know, maganda rin yung uh, at least huminto ka agad yung bat one. I, that's the worst thing. You know, I saw a couple of coins flying against there in the Alaska bench. Tapos meron rin dito, natama pa nga si Maki De Hoya oh. as a member of it. Parang <laughs> <laughs> kaya, no? I mean, bakit ka magbabato ng mga coins na ganyan? Eh? Maraming mga bata dyan, maraming nanonood na hindi naman dapat masaktan. Alam mo, maraming nanghihingi ng coins dito sa Pasay. Ayun, kumanap si Kayoso ng isang three-pointer. And make no mistake about it, mga kaibigan, ang Gordon slowly inching its way back down by just 5 points from a high of 11 points, 30-19, Dr. J ang score kanina. That's their most potent weapon, but this is another poor foul off the ball by Gayoso because he, they are in the penalty and that will send Lastimosa to the free throw line. He was really off, off the play, ah. Away from the play, nagkakaroon ng uh, movement. There was a kiskisa ng katawan ni Gayoso at ni Lastimosa. Ay natawagan ng foul si JB. Si Lastimosa so far has 7 points in this ball game. With the departure of Dr. J of Jeffrey Cariaso, dati si Jojo Lastimosa, pwede siyang hindi maghahapit ng todo. Nanado si Cariaso sa base, pwede siyang paltan anytime. But yes. this time, Mukhang maaga pa lang kailangan niya sa maghahapit. Yeah, at the same time, uh, napapahinga siya ng mabuti. At the same, malakas rumibang si Jeffrey Cariaso. Meron rin shooting, may defensa rin. So all of those things have affected Alaska a little bit. No? Pero they're still a potent team as they should. But they were 5-5. Five five. Bigla silang rumimate na anin na panalo sa semifinals. No? Out of the eight games that they played. Yan ang sinasabi natin. Eh. Hindi mo masusuka talaga kung gano'ng kalaki ang puso ng isang kambyon until malalagay sila sa bingit ang kamatayan o masandal sila sa pader. Abarientos, by the way, uh, Gino has come back to replace uh, Boyet Fernandez. No? So he's match up there against Pido Jarencio. Jarencio thinking three. He yes. will get his three points up, Dr. J. Because of Gordons, yung kanilang ability to make three-point shots, no? is si Rino Rosarazar is egging his players. Wala ng foul dahil nasa penalty na tayo. Sa seryeng ito, 31.3. That's a nice area. shot. Samantala, mabilis sa pan pamatay suno, ginawa ni Lago. As he converts from the corner, si Lago, meron nang naitatalang 8 puntos, Dr. J. Yeah, you know, he did not have a big game in game number 2, no? Dahil nag-i-defense siya kay King. Eh. They go to Marlo. Harencio is open. Harencio will take his 3. Yes. Two! 3 point shots, back to back. Alam mo, hindi pwede biruhin ng Alaska itong Gordons dahil hindi natin alam. Pag ito bumikit ng laban, baka makita mo si King sa laro. Yun know, just to shoot a shot or two, no? At ito, tumanagundong ang kuneta sa pagbabalik ng Alaska o rather ng Gordon sa laro. Ang Alaska ngayon, hitangan ng bola. Lastimosa, tumira, wala. Locks in as a rebound. A chance to tie the ball game or cut down the lead to just a point. Tatlong three-point shots ng uh, Gordon dito sa quarter na ito. Has given them just a three-point deficit. We have two and fifty-six remaining dito sa second quarter. Time out, team goal. The official teams of the PBA. Sa kasulukoy ng potat tulamang ang kalamangan na tangan-tangan ng kupunan ng Alaska in Terry Saldana na nagsimula ng kanyang karir way back in 1983 para sa kupunan ng Toyota Tamaraos. Toyota. At a young tender age of 17 yata. Hindi ako natin kakamali, Dr. J. Well, 
I think he was about 18, 19 years old already. Nagkaroon na experience yan sa Mika. Eh. Naglaro yan. Eh. Kasabay pa nga yan sila Yoyo, eh. sila Lazaro, sila Cristobal, sila Pasto. So, yeah, uh, he had some experience already. Coming off Latran also, no? Sa high school talaga naging star yan. But he has had these better years, no? So, ginawa na lang ni Sunny yan just to maybe help out an old friend. Malaki, sa, pero malaking bagay, Dr. J, because dito sa larong ito, nailapit niya na. Dagga dalawang punto, isang puntos na lang, isang punto na lang, rather, and he gets a rebound, Dr. J. At ang veterano now, going to work. Marenzo. Ang nakikipagpapakita ng very good poise for Gordons in this championship series is J.B. Gayoso. Ayun ang veterano, Dr. J, the only remnant of the original uh, champion team of 1991, J.B. Gayoso. That was the first opportunity for Gordons to take the lead, but Aquino missed the fadeaway shot. No, no, Aquino forced to come back earlier than gusto nila because Wilmer Ong thrown out of the ball game for that elbow shot to the head, to the face of uh, Bong Hawkins. Lastimosa working on Gayoso. Oy, yeah, kabilig. Kabilig ay tatawag. And Dr. J, credit J.B. Gayoso, who seems to be working on his defense. At itong overlook, palaging offense ang hinahanap sa kanya. But in that last play, Dr. J, and in the past phase, eh talagang pinahihirapan ito si J.B. Gayoso, si Jojo Lastimosa. At saka yan, nanapanggit mo na naman yung old warrior na si Terry Saldana, helping out with the umbrella-like defense. Eh, hindi siya makatira so obligadong bumaksak si Jojo with the ball in his hands no? just one point lead para sa kupunan ng Alaska hand check foul on Kevin Ramas ang Gordons nasa penalty ngayon ng Alaska papasok na rin sa penalty with only a minute and 41 left dito sa ating first half pamaya po sa ating halftime ang ating Arilas halftime report ang ating halftime summary at a uh, live performance of uh, the Philippines pride si Jocelyn Enriquez isa sa mga billboard chart busters ang tawag natin sa kanya Pilipina na talagang gumawa ng kanyang pangalan sa US billboard Loxin gumagawa ng kilo sa ilalim si Terry Saldana fighting for that possession and a jump ball forced by the uh, ang tawag natin sa kanya the old warrior <laughs> well the, yeah the old warrior and um, it's about 38 37 38 years old parang si Yoye Villamin yan you know, just about that range of the age. She still has that leaping ability, pero wala na yung sunod-sunod, no? And not that good a post-up player anymore. Dati, Dr. J, yung kanyang contra tempo kilos, ang talagang uh, abilib-bilib. Marlo Aquino, diving for the ball. Gayoso is open, faking. Tatawagan ng traveling na. Nagkahaman siya. He saw the opening, pero nag-inipit yung kanyang paa. Yeah, it's something that we always see from a Bong Rabena. You know, that, 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 that you, want, you want to shoot already, but then you make the shuffle and you don't put down the ball on... You don't dribble the, floor, uh, the ball. No? Dani Aparientos, slightly guarded by Pito Jarenzo, forced to stop the dribble. Yun ang gusto, Dr. J ng uh, Gordos and Terry Saldana. Tapping that ball out. Si Bong Hawkins having an, a nightmarish ball game, shooting 2 of 9. Hindi siya makaporma and uh, we have... Mr. Andy Soriano III, the uh, president of uh, San Miguel Corporation. At... Speaking of San Miguel, sa ating mga kapatid sa San Miguel Beer, congratulations, nanalo na naman ang ipinagmamalaki ng Pilipinas sa San Miguel Beer sa uh, gold. Nakakuha sila ng gold medal, Dr. J, doon sa 1997 World Selection of Beer. So sa mga kapatid natin sa San Miguel Beer, congratulations, congratulations at, and more power and keep it up. Yeah. Jojo with a three-point shot and Lastimosa like a dagger in the heart, Dr. J. Pumuna ng three-point shot at isang pihitan lang balik sa apat ang abante ng Alaska. Nandun yung depensa, so you cannot blame the defensive player. I thought just uh, Jojo hit a very, very good shot at a very important time of the ball game. Ooh, masyadong malakas ang pasa. Ito, ito, nakita ni Johnny Aparientos. Four-point lead, bukas si Hawkins. He cannot shoot. Ang matakis na kay Saldana, ang kanyang tira. Nice so, all of a sudden, bigla naging animal lamang dito ng, uh, ng uh, Alaska. It was down to one and... Uh, Gordon said a lot of shots which they could not convert. Pero di difference lang 8 seconds between the game and the shot clock. Pareho nasa penalty now, no? Yes, nasa penalty na rin po ang uh, kabila kaya hindi sila makafoul. Bukas si Jarenzo 4-3. Yes! Nakuha pa niya, Dr. J. In this quarter, that's his third three-point shot. Pino Jarenzo. Pero may tira pa dito ng uh, Alaska. Yun. Nice crossover move by Johnny. Wala, maubos ang oras. This one is short. And that ends 
the second quarter with Gordon's training by just three points. Ang Alaska 39, 36 naman para sa Gordon's. Pagpapalik po kami with the halftime summary. Alcohol of the PBA. Partner natin sa kalusugan. Exacto. At uh, papasimula na po ang ating uh, third quarter with uh, Alaska on top by three points. 39-36. Ito po ang game number three ng ating 1997 Commissioner's Cup. At uh, Dr. J. Kanina, pinapasok natin ang ating uh, mga dugout reporters. Again, sa ating uh, mga respective dugouts, katulad ng ginagawa natin dito sa series na ito. Ang uh, Gordons, nakatikit dito despite... Uh, Playing without Chris King at ang ating old warrior. Dinapakita na meron pang natitira sa kanyang reserva. Yeah, and I think Joe Worsi went to him right away dahil nakita niya binabantayan ni Lago. He probably feels na may advantage si Terry Saldana at the low post area. Meanwhile, si Holan also on the other end. Si Napalpal at ibinalik yung bola sa kanyang mukha ni Marlo Aquino. And Butch, anong sinasabi sa dugout ng Gordons kanina? Well, Chino, pinuri ni Coach Chani Jaworski ang efforts si Pido Jarencio, J.B. Gayoso at Terry Saldana. Nareview din lang yung kanilang double teaming sa depensa at sabi niya, huwag kayong double team pag si Marlo ang bantay kay Holland dahil kayang-kaya ni Marlo yan. At isa pa, kinumendo yung uh, kanilang team sa kanilang fighting hearts dahil uh, alam nilang gustong gusto nilang manalo. Sabi niya, dalian natin yung uh, pag ating uh, paraan manalo by working together and sticking to the game plan. Balik tayo sa inyo, Chino. Anim na puntos ang naig. Gagawa nito si Terry Saldana and he just gave Gordos the first taste of the lead. Bukas si Holland pamula sa ibabaw ang kanyang tira na awa. Well, Marlo Kino helped out and that left Holland with a nice 15-footer. Pero Terry Saldana giving them some offensive suck and maybe putting a little pressure on the defense of Alaska dito sa second half of play. No? Almost a steal by Jojo Lastimosa. Alam ko... Si Tim Gone, eh, maraming uh, mga problema. Isa sa mga problema niya, parang yung fire ng kanyang team, wala doon. Anthony, ano naman sinabi sa dugout ng uh, Alaska? Wala well, naman sinasabi ni Coach Tim Gone sa mga players niya. The hardest thing to do here in the PBA is to play against a team without an import. Because one, you can be too relaxed. And number two, you might be too tight kasi gusto gusto niyo manalo at tampakan niyo isang team. Sabi niya, just relax, stick to our game plan, and we will win this game. Balik tayo sa'yo. At habang ginagawa ni Anthony ang report, may tira si Bong Hongis bukas na bukas, hindi niya nakuha ang kanyang tira. Magsak si Noli Loxin at Dr. J, yung sinasabi nila, no, pagka walang import, parang iniisip mo madali ang kalaban. Totoo kaya yun? Oh, that's gonna... Uh, actually, goaltending na rin yun eh. Kasama na rin pumasok yung layup ni Johnny Abariento. So, balik sa isa lamang. Arencio, naipit ni uh, Dwight Lago doon sa baseline with his body and he's called for the uh, blocking foul. Pido Arencio had a tremendous explosion in the third quarter scoring three three-pointers. Ay, uh, tawag, uh, makakakuha ng foul kay Dwight Lago. Bukas siya, inatake niya yung uh, depensa. Yeah, 11 points in the second quarter para kay Pido Horencio for them to come back. They go back to that play. Terry Saldana, mintay, minahanap niya yung uh, libre. Gayoso, he had one kanina sa second uh, quarter. Ngayon, wala. Ito si Johnny Abariantos. Ang quickness, binigay kay Kevin Holland. And that is what Johnny Abariantos does so well. That's a dunk for Kevin Holland pass a plus possible three point play. Ito si Johnny Abariento. Tingnan mo yung whipping a pass to Kevin Holland. Halos hindi nakatingin Dr. J but somehow he felt someone was coming from his right side. Well, Kevin Holland got a good break because I did not see a foul there. You know, there's a slight push downstairs. He made the dunk. Siyempre, getting out of the way si Terry Saldana. So a possible three point play but not to be completed by Holland. Forty-five to forty-two ang ating score. Alaska hanging to a three-point lead. Terry Saldana has six points in this ball game. Montek ng makuha kanya ikaw ocho puntos. And Terry Saldana has been used sparingly in this conference. Has come up big in this ball game. He has six points total. Dito sa ating mga ball game. Meto. This is the third quarter. Makakakita po sa next extensive minutes because of the ejection of Wilmer Ong, Dr. J. Yes, uh, halos hindi na siya nakakalaro. And, uh, Wilmer, of course, much bigger and much younger than uh, Terry Saldana. Pero sabi nga sa iyo, the old warrior may have a last hurrah. At, Dr. J, mabait pa sa kanya yung swerte. Uh, well, yeah, uh, meron naman talaga tayong panahon na may araw na lahat ng swerte. Napupunta sa iyo, may araw naman, sobra malas mo. Vin Season, by the way, has come back to replace J.B. Gayoso. Still a two-point lead here for Alaska. Nine minutes and eight seconds left in this third quarter of play. Terry Saldana, hindi ginamit sa first two games. Kaya yung ginagamit sa... Pwede sa talon. 
Iya nang shooters bounce Dr. J. Sobra, dalawang huh? bounce ngayon eh. Bounce <laughs> bounce left, bounce to the right and go in. No? So he's really getting the breaks uh, in this ball game. This is game number three of the 1997 PBA Commissioner's Cup Finals. Mismatch. Johnny Aparriento shooting. Wala rebound to Terry Saldana. Nagawa naman ni Bong Hawkins. And uh, almost another steal. Oh, oh another na tawad. Tira nito si Kevin Holland, Dr. J. Hindi ko alam kung mekanik ko ito si Kevin Holland dahil mukhang may grasa yung kamay. Hello, alam mo, Kevin Holland may be feeling and wilting under the pressure, no? I mean, this is a tank. One hands, medyo sigurado madulas na rin yung bola. Baka pwede, pwede sabihin niya. Pero Dr. J, tatlong beses ko natin nakikita sa sering ito. It's either madulas ang kamay ni Kevin Holland o dahil sa kulay niya, hindi natin nakikita na mumutla siya sa sering ito. Tumira si Pito Jorenzo, 3-point shot! And Sonny Jaworski elated with that shot. Itong kanyang kumuna na to, hanging tough without an import, playing tremendously well, Dr. J. Because I think the pressure is so much on the other side, eh, on the other team. Eh. Kaya nagkakaroon ng ganun. Eh. Kanina sinasabi nice natin, move. anong puso meron ito at si Bo Hawkins continues to struggle. Shooting 2 of 11, Dr. J, from the field. Marlo Aquino, fall yes. away! And Tim Wall says, I've seen enough. I want time. At yan ang kanyang makukuha. Tons has taken the lead. They're on top by four points against Alaska. And they certainly have some momentum. Naoblika pa nga tumawag ng timeout si Coach Cohn. Five seconds on the shot clock. Arenzo open. Again! The explosion from Arenzo. He has hit just his fifth. Three points out of the ball game for a total of 17 big points. Kinsey from the Triple B territory, and that's a seven-point lead now being enjoyed by Gordons. Hindi nyo po iisipin na naglalaro ng walang import ng agawal pa ni Eason. Itong si Kevin Holland na hindi na binagpapawisan at hindi pa malama kung anong gagawin sa loob ng court. Meanwhile, may control na naman kaagad. Walang pass break. Sabay hinto ka agad ang ginawa ni Noli nila Hison at din ang Noli Luxin Double team against Luxin He's gonna move out of the double team Arenzo will take another three points at this one is short Not But Terry Saldana for the loose ball recovery Marlo Aquino thinking three Teka wari lang yun Ano nga ang fake lang yun Panakot lang yun panakot Eh wala na naman movement dito ang Gordon So they have a lot of time on their clock Ito, binigyan ng high pick ni Marlu. Eason will take his own three-point shot. Wala. Rebound dakuha ng Alaska. That was a nice pick and wide pick given by Marlu Aquino. Jojo Lastimosa is coming into the picture. He's gonna have that open shot. Pero and it's ayan. short. Bong Hawkins, pag hindi pa naman na-shoot yan, hindi ko na alam. Libre-libre na siya. So ngayon, nag-improve ng konti yung kanyang field goal shooting. 3 of 13. Good tap there by uh, Kevin Holland. Siguro sa loob ng Holland, parating dumudulo sa bullet. Bigyan ko na lang. Ipasa ko na lang siguro. Ito si Luxin, naso palpal, nakuha niya ang bola but he was outside. Nakahiga na siya sa sahig at tumama yung kanyang uh, balikat sa gilid. Meanwhile, Baldavid has come back into the ball game, giving Pido Harencio a much-needed rest. Pido has been playing aggressive defense against Johnny. Eh, Dr. J, kanina sa second quarter, nakabalik ang Gordons sa pamamagitan ng mga pukol. Itong si Pido Harencio. Pido Harencio, shooting from all angles. He had three, three pointers sa second quarter. At yan po ang isa sa mga high points nitong ating uh, ball game na ito. Dito sa quarter na ito, tinuloy ni Jarenzo ang kanyang mainit na kamay. Well, ang nangyari dito kasi dinoble team na naman nila si Johnny up on top and Marlo went out to meet him. Ang problema is if you do that to Johnny, he's gonna find the open man. No look pass to a cutter on the weak side. No? 52 to 49 ang ating score. Terry Saldana and Gorks. Wala. Rebound Marlo Aquino. Pumping in one. Two points again for Marlo Aquino. He has a total of 15 and playing... Like an import, he's dominating Holland actually in this ball game. Offensively, defensively, he's dominating him. No? 54 to 49 to think Dr. J. Alaska had an early lead of 11 points early in this ball game. But it always happens in this series. Parati sila una una. And Johnny Abarientos hacked in the head. Parang, may mga magnet ang paay. Parang mabigat yung paan nila dito sa game na ito. I think the pressure is telling on them. And of course, alam mo, when you let the crowd back into the ball game, such as they did in here, yeah. eh, medyo you will feel the pressure a little bit more. Johnny did not do much against Harencio. 
he's doing his thing whenever David is the one guarding him because I think he feels a little bit more confident na mas kaya niya yung body weight. Dr. J, si Johnny Abarientas kanina, maganda pa simulan nito sa first quarter eh. Iniwan niya si uh, Val David sa kanyang uh, mga kilos. Makakakuha pa siya ng bola. Steel. Magiging steel yan at magko-complement yan ng uh, fast break attack para sa kupunan ng uh, Alaska. Si Johnny Abarientos, ang ating scouting report sa kanya, well obviously, Johnny Abarientos is a cut player, is an intelligent player, he has unlimited range, crossover, ang key sa kanya, play him physical, and Dr. J, yun ang ginawa ni Jarencio kanina, kay Johnny Abarientos. Yeah, Jarencio has really been playing him physical in this series, and Sonny has sometimes also used some big players to play him physical. Ito si Johnny Abarientos, bibigay kay Lastimosa, but Lastimosa ang pasa, that's too wide, at alam niya ni Johnny Abarientos, Mahang wilting under the pressure. This is uncharacteristic of an Alaska team, Dr. J. Hindi naman siguro. I think Johnny knows it's his error. Hindi error ni Jojo yun. Jojo was running at the right place. Uh, he was setting himself up for a good uh, jump shot from the outside. Thank you. Terry Saldana giving up that pick. And the old warrior has done everything in this ball game, Dr. J. Wala bang error yan. Nakapagbigay pa ng uh, screen para kay Hison. Yes. Besides scoring and also defending against Hawkins, no? Itong si Sunny Jaworski pala, parang majigero. Ito palaging merong uh, Meron new trick. Merong oh, Meron nabubunot eh. Still cannot find the opening. Two seconds to shoot. Hawkins, hindi pa rin niya makukuha yan. And Hawkins, nagdudugo na ang ring sa kanya. Hison! No foul there. And Hison just let go of the ball. He didn't take it hard. Must come down on defense. And he, he and Lastimos are coming down a little bit late. They go to Hawkins. 3 of 14 from the field, Dr. J.C. Hawkins. And shooting cannot go any worse than that, Dr. J. Aparientos, bigay kay Holland. Holland, hindi makaangat. Hindi pa niya makukuha ang kanyang tira. Pero may foul yata si Benny Cheng. Tama. Parang nagiging uh, isa sa mga malaking butas ng uh, Alaska ito, si Kevin Holland, Dr. J. Yeah. We pointed that out. His shooting is down in this uh, series. His shooting only what? 36%. Dito sa ballgame na ito, hindi rin ganun kaganda ang kanyang ipinupukol. Saka meron pang uh, na, nagkakaroon ng mga slippery ball ang nangyayari. But he's not that bad from the free throw line tonight so far. No? 80%, medyo aakyat ng konti yan, 5 out of 6. At ang ating mga suki sa Commissioner's Row, ang uh, ating mga politicians na umangat upang uh, manood dito. And we have a shot of, uh, of course, the founding commissioner of the PBA, Leo Prieto, at ang hiyawan na yan para kay Chris King, Dr. J. I saw him at halftime, pinapasa ni Jaworski. He was moving a little bit better. I think Jaworski really wanted to beat it. Kung lalaro ang aking mga uh, locals, we can keep the game close, I'm gonna use him. Dr. J, eh, hindi lang nailalapit eh. Nailalamang pa ng Gordons ang kanilang, kalam ang kanilang kupunan rather without a Chris King. Ayan, tumawag tuloy na 30-second timeout si Coach Cone. Alam niya, his team is in trouble. He wants to wake them up. And uh, yung pong uh, mundo ng uh, Alaska, unti-unting uh, nagugunaw sa harap ng uh, kanilang uh, paglaban sa Gordons dito sa game number 3. Dr. J, ano nangyayari sa Alaska? I cannot tell. You know, it's not the same team that we know them to be. Uh, they're feeling a lot of pressure, wherein before they are the ones who are putting the pressure on the opponents. Eh, medyo siguro, parang uh, ulang rin kasi ang bigay ni Holland, you know, to lift them up. Eh. Yung uh, sinasabi na lang, they have to make stops. Alam natin ang karakteristik ng Alaska. They play tough defense, but that defense isn't working in this ball game. They're down by 6 points. 3-0-3 remaining, sabi ko nga, Dr. J, at yun, napapansin natin, ang karakteristik of yung Alaska of old, yung uh, nag-champion ng tatlong sunod-sunod nung nakaraang taon. Yeah, actually, fourth state championship siya, going from the other conference of the year. King is at the scorer's bench. Tinanong mga players, how are we gonna play him? So he said straight up, which means no double teaming. So he does not know the extent of what, how he can move on the floor. No? Last time was, uh, Walang isolation because yes. Anton ang double team but he beats the double team and Jojo Lastimosa palaging bailout guy yan pag alang oh. dito kami pupunta He's a great player He's a great offensive player and he's a clutch player also Isolation play para kay Hison cannot go to his right and Lastimosa knows that denying Naku nakapihit Dr. J Wala ang tira Terry Saldana 
again diving and dying for that ball. He forces a jump. At medalya in si Rino Salazar. Niyakap na agad. Si Coach Sonny George. Give me half this time out. Partner natin sa kalusugan. Jania Marietos, pinura ang kanyang tira. Well, he challenged Marlo Aquino in that play and he paid the price. Valdebit, meantime, waiting for his teammates to set up. Dahil nakita niya, mabilis ang balik sa depensa ng ala. Post-up play para kay King. Tingnan natin. All eyes on Chris King and illegal defense itatawag sa panic ng Alaska. It will be a technical because they had one earlier. Si Chris King, mga kaibigan, nandito sa ball game at scouting report on Chris King. Si Chris King, ito NBA smarts ito. Produkto ng NBA. He is a prime time player. Very versatile. Underrated defensively. Ang key sa kanya, Teddy Borg at the post, Dr. J. At siguro go at that yung uh, kanyang injury, Dr. J. Yeah, not only that, he's not uh, very good at dribbling uh, with his back turned to the basket. He's pretty efficient pag nakaharap. So, pag dinodouble team mo, sometimes he does commit the uh, mistakes of putting down the ball on the floor nasa swipe. Pero, overall, like you said, prime time player. When you're, when they use the word prime time, ibang klase yun. He's gonna set up for that three-point shot. Three-point shot, Chris King. This one is short. But Valdevich swoops down for the rebound. Johnny was there. Pero na doon si Johnny Abarietos, binabasa ang kanyang tira. Tumawid ang ating mas Japan. At yan ang pagkakataon tumama ng uh, bagong kotse. Cash prices, Bon Bon and Terry Saldana again. Playing the ball game of his life. Maybe the ball game of his ending career. No, but medyo baka magkaroon ka ng reprieve niya pag ganyan. Eason, wide open for the three-point shot. He's gonna baby it. Nakuha rin niya. At iba, Dr. J, ang uh, mata yung uh, Gordos. Alam mo yung nalilisik, yung ibang bangis na pinakikita nitong Gordos dito. Although a steal by Johnny Abariendos. Tignan natin dito, malaking uh, possession nito. Para sa kupunan ng uh, Alaska as we head down to the last 1 minute and 20 of the third quarter. Okay, trying to play. Pero pagdating ng bola kay Holland, Dr. J, natitigilan sila eh. Oh, kasi hindi siya basta titira kay Marlo. Ito, nadali niya si Marlo Aquino sa labas. Atakihin niya. Traveling. Tatawagan siya ng traveling. Could have been traveling or charging. case of charging. Dahil oh, pinipiyo pa niyang balikat. Pinaba niya. Sumusunod lang sa kanya si Marlo. Sino, tingnan mo si Marlo dito. Sinusundan na siya ng paa. Hindi siya in, and he actually used the hand to push off against Marlo. Dr. J, tumitignan ako doon sa stat sheets natin. Itong si Terry Saldana, would you believe us, 11 rebounds in this ball game? Well, hindi nakaka-rebound si Kay. So, somebody has to pick up the rebounding. Pull up jumper. Di Baldabid, wala. Rebound. Bago ko na naman ni Terry Saldana. Tsaka nakaka-inis yun dahil pagkuha mo, ilalabas mo ulit. Eason. And Eason, yes, a three-pointer. At nakakaamoy ng dugo ang mga pating ng Gordon, Dr. J. Yeah, they are going to come up with a real big... They have come up with a real big game at this stage. Now, their defense has held Alaska to 54 points at this stage. At uh, maraming nagsasabi na hindi pa sila sigurado sa kakayahan nitong Gordons. Ito, ang kakayahan ng Gordons. Labang sila. But Jojo Lastimosa still at it. Ito, hindi susuko ito hanggang dulo. Ah, he's that type of a player. He's the captain ball. Well, you know, you, you need somebody to take charge. Last shot time na dito para sa Gordons, no? Ito, tapos ang uh, nakapatay ang uh, shot clock. Ibig sabihin, kanila lahat ng oras. 3 seconds. Pinigay kay Saldana. Saldana will... Miss, at dyan po magwawakas ang third quarter, a big quarter para sa kunan ng Gordons. They're on top, 62, riding high on Terry Saldana's 11 rebounds in this quarter, alone okay, rebounds in this quarter, alone. Okay, Merwin Castello doon, but a low post play for King. Pero Dr. J, yung mga ganong mga klaseng kilos against an NBA smart na itong si uh, Chris King, ito ang kanilang uh, hinahabol. Napakaraming gustong makakita yung kalamangan yan and would you believe Dr. J sa ating uh, serie sa ating uh, PBA history ang ating tinatawag na point of no return eh itong point of no return na kinalalagyan ng Alaska right now no team has ever come back in a best of 7 series down by 0-2 dito sa ating history ng PBA in the history of professional sports in the world no team has ever come back from a 3-0 deficit to win a 7 game series that includes basketball, hockey, hockey anything. And, if, uh, and, and then football pala, iisa yan. Uh, uh, itong NBA, of course, 3-0, mahirap yan. May pag-asa pang humabol ang Alaska. Ang question dito, at kinu-question natin kanina sa umpisa pa lamang, ay yung kanilang puso. Nasa ng puso ng Alaska? Nandun pa ba? Two seconds to go. Holland, bailout shot, but he will get the rebound. Yeah, a little bit more scrambling on the part of uh, Kevin Holland here. 
Alam niyo wala na sa mga itulong offensively. So, tutulong na lang siya sa ibang departamento. Samantala, Terry Saldana. Hindi niya bibigay yung uh, two points na madali para kay Bong Hawking. So, continues to bleed from the field, Dr. J. Pero extra motion na yan because may loose ball foul na yan. Foul na yan dyan eh. Hindi pa ma-attempt. Hinabol lang niya to make sure na wala nga ang possible three-point play. Pero it's a loose ball foul. So, side court throw in. Ayaw na rin tumira ni Paula, no? Medyo libre na siya ron. Lastimosa with a nice move. Ito lang ang matabang, Dr. J. But still, the best of Lastimosa, hindi makatulong sa kanyang kupunan. Well, kasi pinagtulungan siya. He had three guys guarding him as he went to the hoop. You know, there was King, there was Marlo Aquino. Eason with a three-point shot. Not a good attempt. There was the low post play. Eason's shot selection must be questioned there. And he knows it. Pero si Sunny, hindi na lang umaangal. But he looks in dismay. Pero well, sayang eh, di ba? Saka dinala na sila ng ganito kalayo ng kanilang mga players. Holland, bukas at sa wakas, nakakuha rin siya ng magandang tira sa loob. Si Kevin Holland merong 13 puntos ang kanyang kalaban sa loob. Si Chris King ay pumasok dito lang sa third quarter na ito. Sinusubukan lang siya. Now, they're posting him. Nakita natin sa scouting report, they must try and work him at the post. Ito, may mismatch. So, bibigay kay Marlo. Five seconds to go. Nabitawan ng bola. At ang agawin pa ni Marlo Aquino, last touch si Merwin Castello as the ball bounced off his right leg. Well, there were a lot of hands there. Eh, hindi makontrol yun. Tumama yung uh, kay Merwin Castello on the way out. That's why hinahabol niya. Kung hindi, di papabayaan na nga lumabas yun. No? Ang nasa loob para sa Alaska, Fernandez, Lastimosa, Castello, Holland at Hawkins. Si Lastimosa playing almost without relief, Dr. J. Well, they need it. Paul David with a nice jump shot all of a sudden. Ginamit niya yung pick and roll. And having to shoot a looper, he made it. So that's a big basket for Gordons. And this team is on a roll. Yan po ang Gordons on top by 5 in this ballgame and on top by 2 in this best of 7 series. Ito, pasa kay Holland. Holland, finally. Ito, nakakakuha ng konti at nakaka-recover. He has 15 points and 12 rebounds. Well, magandang uh, pasa ni sa kanya ni Hawkins. Eh. Hawkins sees the double team, so pinapasa niya. Bukas si Terry Saldana, isa pang talagang gamit na gamit dito. Ball David from the corner. Magandang ball movement ng Gordon because they have a guy at the post that Alaska must double team and it's king. So they move the ball from strong side to weak side in very good fashion. This Alaska team is in deep trouble ngayon, mga kaibigan. They're down by five points. But we have an eternity of basketball ahead of us. Yeah, marami pang oras yan. Nahagawang pa rin si Lastimosa. And he's all susunod ang salikod ni Jojo Lastimosa. And no easy points para kay Vince Heason sa last play na yun. Lastimosa not giving up. That's a good foul, Chino. Uh, don't give him the layup. Actually, kung hindi winanha ni Heason ito, ang daling ipotek ang bola eh. But because gusto niyang iwanha, inabot siya ni Lastimosa. Very easy to protect that ball if you use two hands and you may you put your body there. But Heason is also an accurate free throw shooter, so... Unang free throw niya on the way and hits bottom of the net. At binabati po namin ang mga barangay officials and delegates of the Lakbay Aral Project from the Municipality of Siocon, Zamboanga del Norte. At sa ating po mga kapatid sa Zamboanga del Norte, Buenos Dias. At we hope you're enjoying this ball game. Two free throws na even season. Nakapagbigay ng pitong puntos na kalamangan para sa Gordon. So again, off the steal, they were able to score. Pito na lamang, pero still a lot of time, 8.43. By the way, Saldana was taken out by Loxin. Eh, grabe naman yung palakpakan na inabot ni Terry Saldana. Las Limosa, met by a double team. Nabitawan ng bola, nakuha ni Val David. At, Dr. J, nakita mo ang mga mata nila. Naka, wala na silang, parang walang buhay yung Alaska at this point. Loxin, finger roll. Against Boyd Fernandez. At gumuguho ng gumuguho, Dr. J. Ang Cuneta Astro sa harap ni Coach Tim Cohn. He wants time. Battery, winner of international awards for quality. Ito ang uh, crucial possession. Pinasok ng uh, Alaska si Coach Winyo. Johnny Abarientos. Yun. Meron pang uh, buhay, Dr. J. Dahil gaya na sinasabi namin, ang haba nitong oras na to, 8 minutes. Yeah, we've seen a lot of things happen in eight minutes. You know? This is not really a big lead. That's only seven points at this stage. And that's way, way, a uh, lot of basketball to go. Chris King setting up. Pero nakita mo, very, uh, ano ang kanyang mga movements. Naku, naka-reverse pa si Baldabit. Ang depensa ng uh, 
Pupuna ng Alaska, Dr. J. Kopp, napping that time. Tatlo dinaanan ni Baldabid. Yeah, Holland should have helped out, you know. I mean, uh, but he, he tried, so he forced the beat to go to the reverse. But uh, wala naman nakatulong from that side. Hindi pa nagkagawin doon yung dalawang player. Kapit ba yun, ha? Kevin Holland, mabibitaw ang pabola ang kanyang yes. pukol. Ayun. Ito, si Kevin Holland springing back to life. Ibinababaan ng konti ang lumang to... Ito, 7 pa pala. Akala mo, maliit-liit na. But... 7, 7 minutos pa natitira. 7 minutes, 7 seconds. The king is just spotting up on the other side. You know? Yan. They're Ayan, just spotting him up. Just spotting him up. That's all. At rebound nakuha, pero nadukot naman ni Johnny Abariento sa likod ni Marlo Aquino. At ito, maglalakad na lang si Marlo. Magaling yung kanyang binabantay si Kevin Holland. Hindi na rin makatakbo. Pareho na silang pagod. Eh. They've uh, played a lot of minutes in this ballgame. Johnny Abariento's... Pinaanan si Val uh, David at ito, naaalarma ng konti ang Gordon. They want their own timeout. Ang kupunan po ng Alaska has gone to a uh, twin guard rotation of Johnny Abariendos and Boyd Fernandez. Anong move ito, Dr. J? Well, I think he wanted to give Lastimosa a rest and then he wants to put some speed on the ball ballgame. Uh, I think, you see, like, Valdebit had a very important shot that he would have very put down. So, I think, yan, nakita rin ni Sani na kailangan gamitin na rin niya si Pido Harencio, no? But he has to wait for the next dead ball situation. Si Commissioner Jun Bernardino intently watching the game, of course, with uh, Mr. Eddie de Guzman. Si Senate, uh, Congressman John Osmeña, former Senator of the Republic. Of course, from Cebu. Nakaasun sa malapit, Dr. J, and uh, slowly ang Alaska inching its way back into this ball game this down by three points pagod na si Marlo Aquino that's why when he double teams when he comes back it's just a little bit too late ayan ang post up play para kay Huizo he has the advantage but Boyd Fernandez not backing down from this match up bukas si Chris King he will take a three pointer wala and loose ball foul ang itatawag a deliberate foul at itatawag dito kay Val David ay noli loksin yata ay noli loksin ba tatawagan Dr. J, ito yung mga klase ng mga fouls that you give up na hindi kailangan. So obviously, yung paggamit ng kung anong nando sa in between the years kailangan sa ballgame na ito. Yeah, let's see this play. You see, uh, boxing out ang ginagawa dito ni Boyet Fernandez. And of course, Luxin is so much bigger than him. So Luxin will have to sit out uh, three minutes, no Dr. J? Yeah, yeah. Kaya sa deliberate foul na ito na tinawag sa kanya. He was fighting for that uh, possession. Ikatulad nun, si Boyd Fernandez, alam mo, peski ito, aasa rin ka talaga nito. Hmm. Hihingiin niya yeah. yung contact. Correct. Eh, tapos medyo hinartihan niya ng kote. Nahuli si Sinuli. Ibabalik si Terry Saldana was turned out to be the biggest thorn sa panig ng uh, kukunan ng Alaska. Si Terry Saldana scoring 8 points and pulling down a total of 11 rebounds. In the third quarter, Dr. J. Well, the gamble dito si Cohn, and it might be paying off. He's using uh, Abariento and uh, Fernandez together. And medyo nakabalik sila from a nine-point deficit. Now they're only down by two, down by one. May possession pa sila. This game is not yet over. At Dr. J, yung gamble na sinasabi natin, giving up size, but uh, merong konting ball handling and speed. As well, Alaska. Pa, ang uh, hahabulin nila ay isa lamang 73-72 and they have ball possession yeah matagal pa itong laro na ito both teams have 3 timeouts they have 20 and the 30 second timeout yet for the whole 4th quarter anybody's ball game at this stage Johnny Abariento against Pido Jarenzo faking off ang kanyang tira and that's the lead para sa kukunan ng Alaska ito talaga ang player na talagang nagdadala pabalik sa Alaska another Jan prime time player Dr. J yeah definitely 1996 MVP Johnny Aparientos just gave Alaska its lead, regained the lead actually. Nine seconds to shoot, eight seconds to shoot. Harenzo yes. is loading again from the outside. That's a three-point shot, his sixth of the ball game. Well, alam na ni Jaworski, this is clutch time. You use, you go to the pressure player, and he has gone to Pedro Harenzo and uh, JB Gayoso in the backcourt. No? And what a time for that explosion to come, Dr. Jaya. Timely, ang uh, pagpalit. Si Kevin Holland with a slam, making a statement, Dr. J, that it ties the ball game and uh, Holland with 21 points in this ball game total. Well, nakakapunto siya because King cannot help out. Eh. He cannot jump. Eh. So, ang nangyayari, tumutulong si Marlo Aquino. Hindi naman makakover si King, which usually what happens is King is able to cover Holland on that pick and roll play. Barely crossing that uh, half court mark. Ang kupunan ng uh, Gordon's 10 seconds to work around with. Me double team ki Chris King. 
You can see yung kanyang uh, limited mobility. Marenzo, bibigay kay Terry Saldana. 3 seconds to shoot. Saldana over shoot to Mark. At ito ang possession para sa Alaska. Ito ang twin guard rotation, Dr. J. Working wonders para sa Alaska. There's a pick and roll play again. They jump, they jump out. No? They jump out. And off. Johnny Abariendos working on an 8 second shot clock. 5 to shoot. Abariendos yes. again. Alam mo, bumabalik sila dito. Nakaupo si Hawkins. Nakaupo si Lastimosa. And lumamang na dito ang Alaska. 3 minutes and 50 seconds. So premature ang mga celebration ng jeans. And King, really not much of a play, uh, effective player. Let's see what he can do. Ito, malaking gamble ni the, uh, Big J. Uh, ito si Terry Saldana. At yun, Dr. J. Ang pasa ni Marlo Aquino from the post. Ang high post siya. Inilaglag na kay Terry Saldana who has 10 points in this ball game. Yeah, this is gonna be another one of those photo finish ball games. <laughs> oh, yun, may mga sakit sa puso. Uminom muna ng malamig yung tubig or kung hindi, humingan ng konti ng malalim-lalim at sigurado. Pamatay po, pamatay, dip-dip na naman ito. Johnny Aparientos again taking charge. Boyet Fernandez, 3! And that's a 3-point shot for Boyet Fernandez. The first 3-point shot of the ball game para sa Alaska. And it came from a guy who is off the bench player, ha? JB Gayoso having a hard time bringing down that ball. Ito si Marlo working at the post. Ando si Terry Saldana. He won't shoot from that spot. Ando si Marlo Aquino. Diniin ni Marlo yun. Bringing them to only one right now. Still, Alaska on top. 2 minutes, 45 seconds left. First 2 points ni Aquino sa quarter. 17 points total para sa skyscraper. Johnny Abarientos. Ginagamit ng konti ang oras. Boyd Fernandez. 8 seconds to shoot para sa Alaska. Johnny Abarientos. Hindi binibigay yung uh, kapilang side which is uh, usually strong side. Naagaw pa ang bola. And Gordon's again. J.B. Gayoso now playing the role of point guard. Well, pwede yan. Dahil marunong nyo siya magdala ng bola. They go to King at the post. They're looking for the double. Saguro, sabi ni King, pag hindi nyo ako i-double team, pipilitin ko na ito. Aba, Dr. Oh, Gordon. Hindi kayo mag-double team. Eh, siguro naman, kaya ko ito. <laughs> and limping, Chris King, his first two points of the ball game, but pinaka-importante yung oras, dumating yung two points. Yeah, naka-free throw siya kanina. So, that's his third point. Eh, tumawag. It's a full timeout para sa Alaska. Okay. Roman traditional fit. Club Roman jeans and shirts. Club Roman. We're into the last two minutes and the last two minutes is brought to you by Du Premium Dry London Gin. Now available in 750 ml. Aparientos nakaligtas. Basket counts. At merong foul kay Pito Arenzo. Well, maganda yung play na yun with uh, bringing uh, Jess Lastimosa back into the ball game, then isolating for Johnny. Johnny is taking charge here in the fourth quarter, leading them back by scoring, passing off. So, back to the lead para sa Alaska, one point. They have a chance for a, po a two-point lead if Johnny can complete the three-point play. Malayo pa itong laro na ito. Marami pang pwede mangyari dito sa labanan na ito. Sobra, Dr. J. Ang uh, inilalarong ito after uh, after watching this ball game, ito tinitingnan niyo ang uh, mga kongresista ng hindi naglalakwat sa unit na uh, walang trabaho ngayon. Uh, Linggo ngayon, ba? Linggo ngayon. Gabi na eh, saka you know. Manonood ng ball game yung mga yan. Of course, that was Congressman Miguel Romero. May timeout ang Gordos. It's a full full timeout by Todd, 20 seconds. Tol! Ayos! Coneta Astro with the time down to a minute at 41. Lamang ang uh, Alaska ng uh, dalawang puntos. Dr. J, biglang uh, bumaliktad yung uh, mga pangyayari. Well, siyempre, eh, yung Alaska, led by Johnny Aparianto, so it's gotten themselves back. Uh, medyo they regain their composure. Medyo nakaka-score na si Holland dahil nabibigyan siya ng magandang feed sa inside. And you know, even though King is there, he might be a liability that he has very limited movement. Pero pag gaganyan din naman nila kay Lago na hindi nila ito double team, eh, may problema sila. Ipakita mo, Dr. J, yung pasa, ilalaglag na by Chris King. We have a tight ball game at 84. Johnny Aparientos has been the go-to guy. 17 points in this ball game. Bagsaki Holland. Holland with a two-hand slam. Well, hindi ilang beses na ginagawa ni Aparientos yan. Pero naoobligan tumulong si Marlo. It should not be Marlo that should help out. But should be another player from the other side. 
the Dan other prime time player, Dr. J, going to work in this ball game. Yeah, that's Johnny Abarientos. That's a tight pass. Pero nakuha rin. Gayoso thinking of thinking three. Bukas si Arenzo sa gilid. Arenzo, three points. Oh, down. yes! What shooting! What a game! Okay, Machi, no, ha? Pambihira nga talaga. Woo! Ayaw matalo yung dalawang kuponan dito sa larong ito. Pambihira ng laro ito. And merong 20 second timeout na itinawag ang Alaska. At uh, this 20 second timeout brought to you by Ford Bulldog. Ito ang tira. Teka muna. Merong kami nga koneksyon. Gusto ng Alaska, a full timeout. Hindi po magkamaya ang mga tao dito sa loob ng Cuneta as uh, they're still releasing the three-pointer connected by Pedro Jarencio the seventh of the ball game. The record for the playoff series stands at eight and that was scored by Sonny Jaworski against a team na hawak-hawak ng aking partner. Hindi na makasama lang tayo doon yung <laughs> UTEXO. So medyo masakit nga yung 24 points from the three-point territory. Eh, magaling talaga si Sunny, a great shooter from that area. But here, one-point ball game para sa Gordons. Bola ng uh, Alaska. Bumalik na si Bong Hawkins. 58.7. Ang gulo nito. Eh, may foul to give pa ang Gordons. Isa Alaska has three fouls to give. Ha? Meron yata uh, humihingi ng uh, is this another timeout. Hindi po. Magpapatuloy ang, uh, ang aksyon. 58.7 seconds left dito sa ating ball game. Ang score po natin, 87 para sa Gordons, 86 para sa Alaska. Well, you're gonna see Johnny isolated, pick and roll. Alam nila, tutulong yung mga yun. At ito na si Pino Jarenzo, applying the pressure. Walang bukas. Lastimosa will take a three-pointer. It's long. Rebound. Nagpapatay sila Chris King. Pero makukuha ni Poch Winyo. Hindi makatalun si King, pero he tried to jump and get the ball. What heart, Dr. J? And a foul by Pino Jarenzo. Too early. You were saying, too early. That's gonna be the 50 foul. That will put them in the penalty. But I think Jarenzo wanted to calm down his teammates. Eh. Kaya binigay niya yung foul na yun. Gigil na gigil sila. They're on top by a point. 87-86. Ang oras, 35.2 seconds. Ang lamang po ay ang Gordon sa Alaska. Ay meron, ng, uh, meron bang uh, mga fouls na gigib. Ang Gordon ay nasa penalty na. They go to Johnny Abarientos. He is the man sa quarter na ito. They go to Hawkins now. He has a mismatch there. Tao ang pasa ni Poswinio. Walang tao doon kung pinasa niya. Akala niya sa likod niya si, si uh, Holland. Pero wala palang tao doon. Now, ang Alaska because they have three fouls to give before they get into the penalty. Yan ang isa. They just gave one, Dr. J. At ito ang jubilation ng uh, kupunan ng uh, Gordons. Unti-unti nilang nararamdaman. Ayun, nung pumasa, wala na si uh, Holland. Papasok na. Miscalculation. Well, he, he doesn't have eyes in the back. No? Pero kumakata si Holland. Kala ni Holland siguro na ito na. Sasaksak pa siya. Di kailan rumibaw na ko. There is Aldana wreaking havoc dito sa team na ito. And another foul given up na kupunan Ay, ng uh, Alaska. Si Hawkins, that's the fourth. One more before they land in penalty. Winyo papalitan. At napinaalala namin sa Martes, simula ng alas 7. Game number 4. Kung makakalamang ang Gordons, makakailangan pa sila ng isang laban. And that's on Tuesday, alas 7 ng uh, gabi. At hatid sa inyo ng Vintage Sports, ang finals ng Commissioner's Cup. Now, Alaska is in the penalty with 17.1 seconds left in the ball game. Story sa timeout. Sa Gordons, may tatlo. Ang Alaska, meron na lamang isang full timeout. 87-86 is the score. Team Don, a beleaguered man at this point. But they foul Vin Season. He had to foul to stop the clock. But there's a, and Jaworski has sent all of his good shooting uh, free throw shooters on the floor except for Marlo Aquino. Malayo si Marlo. Ni hindi gusto tumagap na bola ni Marlo. So far, Vin Season has yet to miss a free throw shot in this uh, ball game sa championship series si Vin Season is 77% and big free throws coming his way with 16.1 seconds left in the ball game all important free throw shots para kay Vin Season yung focus niya importante rito he strokes the first and he misses Dr. J. And that's where the pressure comes in. This is where they've always questioned Vin Season. He's had a good series. But again, here, 
Could he be choking? Alam mo, pinili talaga ni Gayo. So yun, ayaw niyang pasahan si King. King was open. Harensio was there. Pero he waited for Hison to come to him. Hison, 42nd free throw. Violation yan! Violation si Gayoso and that's gonna nullify the free throw shot, correct? Ang laking bagay nun, Dr. J. That shot could have counted but Gayoso came in just before the ball was released. At meron full timeout ang Alaska. They're just down by a point, 87-86. That was it. Dr. J, I think we've seen it all dito sa ball game na ito. JB Gayoso, he entered the lane too soon. I don't know why. Maybe wala siyang tiwala kay Bean Season after he missed the first free throw. And so he was called for the violation by entering the lane too soon. He nullified the free throw shot that was made by Vin Season. At alam mo, nakikita natin from this side, Dr. J, dahil malapit tayo sa dugout na natin sa bench ng Gordon, sa galit ni Sunny Joe Wars. Dapat naman siya magalit because everything is on your side. He's took under the first free throw but he made the second. Akaso, inalis lang ang kakampi niya dahil nagka-violation. Eto, kumapit kayo mga kaibigan. Abariento sa wakang bola. Abariyentos makakalusot, buka si Lago from the corner, Lago sobrang tira! And no more time, no more time! Naubo sa oras, Gordon takes a commanding 3-0 lead sa seryeng ito, Dr. J. At nagkakagulo po dito sa loob na kuneta, lahat nakatayo as Gordon takes a commanding 3-0 advantage in this best of 7 series. Si Sunny Jaworski nilabila ni Tim Cohn and Sunny Jaworski pinipilit natin hatakin. Magpakabatong-bato ang mga players. Hindi pa tapos ito. Sa championship pa lang ginagawa yun. Pero nararamdaman nila ata, Dr. J, na meron na silang naaboy na championship. Nagyaya ka ba sila? Baka nakakalimutan nila. There's still one more game to go. And Sunny Jaworski, pinagkakaguluhan ng mga tao dito. Papabayaan natin i-release nila ang kaguluhan na natatamo dito. Si Sunny Jaworski, being let out sa kami na nagkahagulo sa kanya, final score, 87 to 86. Magbabalik po kami. At nandito na po tayo sa Cunera Astrodome. Pagkatatapos lamang ng Game 3, Gordon's winning 87-86 over Alaska. And one of the best players of the game ay uh, itong si uh, Pido Harencio. Pido, you made 7 out of 8 three-point shots ngayong gabi. Mukhang uh, sineryoso mo yung harmony coach sa anila. O oh, yung walo ko, ginawa ko, finals. Ikaw, finals din ito. Uh, hindi, uh, yung rhythm ko nakuha ko eh. Maganda lang ang ang bato kaya tira lang ako ng tira. Eh so masama yung umpisa niyo dahil uh, kayo ba naapektuhan nang nalaman niyo din sa dugout na si Chris King hindi maglalaro. Oh, medyo nung umpisa dahil malaking bagay sa amin si Chris eh. dahil si Chris din nagdala natin sa atin dito sa championship at saka syempre yung team, yung kabilang team nagdo-double sila eh. Kaya kami paano kami malilibre kung hindi mal kung hindi do double ta kan. Every time nagte-threaten mag-pull away itong uh, Alaska ikaw ay uh, pumapasok with a big basket. Is this, uh, pinapakita mo lang ba na ikaw yung veterano dito sa Gordons at ikaw dapat ang uh, mamayanig sa iyong mga kakampi? Uh, bali, ginagawa ko lang ang role ko para sa team. Yeah. Okay, congratulations, Pido. 3-0 na ito. Matagal ka na hindi nagsa-champion. Although, four wins ang kailangan. Naamoy mo na ba? Oo. Uh, sana, sana. Ito yung Tuesday, uh, makuha na namin. Uh, babati lang ako. Okay. Uh, Unang-una, uh, maraming gabi sa inyo lahat. Uh, magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Uh, binabati ko si Fe, si Jaren, si Gia, si Jiko, si Janelle. Tapos uh, si sa Daddy Ben, si Daddy, mga Pisaro family, tsaka Manuel family sa Bataan, sa Pilar Bataan. Tapos yung mga kamagana ko sa Iloilo, sa Capiz. Tapos si Nonoy, si Parimpit. Tapos si, ano, ah, uh, ano mga ba ito? Ah, uh, mga Skarate sa San Pablo. At saka kay Coach Bajon. Ah, uh, nandito na tayo, Coach. Sana makuha na natin to. Okay, ito si Pedro Arencio. Hindi lang magaling magmemorya ng play, magaling, magaling din magmemorya ng mga babatiin niya. So, congratulations. At tayo ay uh, magbabalik pa ulit dito sa Cuneta Asodong. You see an import that's injured, making some baskets when his team needed it. Uh, Pido Harencio coming up with some big... Uh, Johnny Abariantos on the other side, Holland picking his game up. Pambihira yun eh. Sometimes you begin to wonder, is Gordon destined to be the champion? Sa San Miguel, sabihin mo, talo na yun eh. Diba? Five points, 40 seconds to go against the team that knows how to control the game. You know, they're very, very lucky, uh, but because they've been playing very well as a team and their defense is holding up. Diba klase mga kaibigan at ibibigay po natin ang award. Itong isang to eh talagang may pagmamalaki namin ibigay. Very Saldana played what probably could, have, could be the best 
game of his, uh, masabi natin na patapos na karir. Yeah, he has, we had two bad players of the game, actually. That's Pito Arrencio for all his uh, all-night brilliance. And then Terry Saldana, I think, came up with one of his biggest games. Hindi na lang yung 12 rebounds, may puntos pa siya, maganda ang depensa niya. All those things made Terry Saldana one of the other best players of the game. But Colin had came in today with 14 rebounds, 8 and 6. Came up soon with some crucial points. Pero, you know, when the team needed to come back, he also tried to help. Pero, you know, wala lang silang suerte in the end game. And good defense again by uh, the Gordon's team. Well, it's hard to say, you know, but uh, nasa Alaska na yan eh. Because uh, I'm sure Gordon's is going to go out for it. Uh, I mean, nandiyan ang momentum nila. They see everything going. King may be a little bit better by Tuesday. And if he's any, a little bit better, they're, they're in a lot of trouble. Nasa Alaska na yun. If they want to pull together, have some pride, pull together, did exactly what uh, Gordon's did to them last year. In 3-0 ng Alaska, nakasagot ng uh, isa yung Gordon's bago tinapos na ng Alaska. Narinig niyo po ang isyo ay nagpapaalam at pinapaalala namin sa inyo ang laro po ay ganap ng alas 7 ang jump ball ay 7.30 sa darating pong Martes. Pinaalala namin sa inyo na sa Martes, sa gula ng alas 7, magsisimula ang ating coverage dito ng Vintage Sports magpapatuloy ng Finals of Missionaries Cup. Para sa lahat ng mga nagtatrabaho para sa Vintage Sports, dito po si Chino Trinidad nagpapaalam. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat at patuloy po ninyo ang pananood ng PBA.